The maintenance operations team is diverse in themselves, that they have multiple different specialties. They have the experience and the background. All of those enable us to provide a well-rounded solution to the maintenance group because we're not just speaking to one specific type of maintainer. Starting out in the predominantly male career field is difficult. There's not a lot of us. Every time I go to a meeting, I look around and I'm like, wow, I'm the only woman. I had a lot of male co-workers. I had a lot of male leaders um, that I respected and looked up to. But I found myself looking out beyond the maintenance group to kind of connect with people that were similar to me, whether it was because they were Hispanic or because they were women or because they were a single mother like myself. I guess most of the challenges do come from being a single mom. It's just you're juggling so much and you're just doing a lot all the time. I've had this pressure for myself to always feel like I need to prove my worth. I need to prove that um, that I'm just as hungry, you know, and I have just as many aspirations. I've had a hard time being a single mother, not at this base particular, but at my last base. That was really hard. It's been a long journey becoming this person. Oh, I'm about to cry. Oh, you know, it's okay to be a woman. It's okay, you don't have to pretend that you're not a woman. You don't have to pretend to be one of the guys. Um, you're your own person and just stay true to that. Having people that look like you advance further up in the ranks helps a lot because they know, well, you would hope that they would know what you're going through. Things aren't always gonna be one way. It's, it can change and it can change for the better. As a female leader in the maintenance group, um, it's been a wonderful opportunity to be able to represent all these things that make me for our airmen so that they can relate and see that in themselves.